My tool that I use for managing my layers, creating new layers, and working with their properties is my Layer Property Manager. Here I can see a list of all the layers that are in this drawing. I can see the properties that are assigned to them. And I have tools to create new layers, to delete layers, or to change which layer is currently active. Right now you can see that the wall layer is active by the green check mark. If I wanted to change to make the dimension layer active, I can either click and click on the check mark or I can just double click on the layer to make that the current active layer. I can use my tools to create new layers. If I click here I've created a new layer and notice that the new layer is created with the same properties as the active layer. Because my active layer was walls with black continuous and default line weight, the new layer is created with black continuous and default. I would name my layer and I can set its properties such as its color, its line type, the line weight, turn on or off its printing, or may control the visibility of this layer in new viewports that I create in layouts. To make this the current layer, I would double click. To delete a layer, I can use this X tool. If I click on it, you'll notice that I could not delete this one because it's currently the current layer. I'll change my current layer to walls and I'm going to click on electrical and I'm going to say delete. One of the other things you need to uh, understand is that anytime a layer has objects in it, it also is going to refuse to be deleted. So as long as you've added objects to a layer, then you're not going to be able to get, get rid of it like that without getting rid of the objects that are on that particular layer. I can also work with layers and their layer states by using the layer list that's available as a drop-down menu from the layer tools panel. Notice in here I have quick access to turning on or off layers, freezing or thawing, freezing or th thawing a layer in a viewport when I'm working with layouts, or locking or unlocking. Let's look at what happens if I turn on or off a layer. I'm going to turn off the dimension layer. The light bulb is gone out and I click outside and now you notice that they're no longer visible. When I turn a layer off, it's no longer visible but it's still considered part of the drawing when I regenerate the drawing to the screen. So if I zoom in or out or if I use the regen command, the program will reread the database and it still includes all the information that I would have on that layer. I'm going to turn that back on and now I'm going to choose to freeze the dim layer. And while the results look the same, being not visible, because this layer is now frozen, when I regenerate the drawing to the screen, that information is not reread. So if you're working with a large drawing with a lot of layers, it's better to freeze the layers that you don't want to see than it is to turn them off because it will speed up regeneration time. When I thaw a layer, it makes it visible and it also adds it back into the database so that it will be considered in a regeneration of the drawing. Another option that I have is to lock a layer. So for example, the dimensions on here, I don't want the dimensions to be changed, so I'll lock that layer. And now, when I put the cursor over those dimensions, you'll notice the little lock symbol shows up. And that indicates that these objects are currently on a layer that's locked and cannot be edited. 
My layer list box tells me which layer is current in my drawing. If I wanted to change the current layer, I can use the drop down, choose the layer that I want to make current, and now walls are the current layer. If I were to select a particular object like this door, my layer list box will show me what the current layer is. That object exists on the doors and windows layer. With no object selected, this box always tells me which layer is the current layer. If I wanted to change the layer that an object is on, I just need to select the object like this door, for example, I can see that it's currently on the doors and windows layer. From my drop down menu, I would choose the layer that I want to change it to, and when I click on that, it's now been changed to that layer, and it's assumed all of the properties that are enforced with that layer. I have some additional uh, tools that I can use that are on my layer panel. One of them is isolate and unisolate. I notice on my plan here that my walls are currently on the zero layer. I want to work with all of the objects that are drawn on the zero layer, so I'm going to say isolate, and I see that all of the, all of the walls are there. So I'm going to choose all those walls, work with them now that I have them isolated, and change them to the wall layer. Now I'm going to unisolate and bring it back. That allowed me to quickly isolate and edit uh, all the objects that are on a particular layer. Some other tools that I have available on my panel include uh, to freeze, turn on or off, or previous. These work like my drop-down menu except I'm able to click on for example freeze and then choose the object that's on a layer that I want frozen. So if I wanted to freeze all of the fixtures, uh, I can click there and those are frozen. I can select multiple, multiple layers that could be frozen. My previous will undo or take away the last layer setting that I put in. So these give me quick access to be able to quickly work by being able to turn off objects that are on certain layers, complete any work, and then previous will bring it back. I can use the match button to choose an object and then match its layer to a layer of my choice. For example, this door is currently on the wall layer and I'd like it to be on the door and window layer. I'll choose match, choose the door, which is the object I want to change, hit enter, and then choose an object on the layer that I want it to be its destination. Now you can see this, this door has changed and taken on the properties of the door and window layer.